How many of you have stepped out of your building and left your jacket in the office? It's cold, isn't it? Sometimes. You're shivering. By the time you make it to your lunch place, or by the time you make it to the office, you do this, you start at your computer, and you start typing away. I don't like it when it's cold. And I've only felt so much cold in my life. When I was about eight, I was in my hometown in India at a tourist destination called Imambara, very famous tomb of one of the old rulers of my hometown. And I had a great time visiting the facility, and as we were leaving, this little boy walked up to us. Very thin little t-shirt with many, many holes in it. And he had on his back his little brother tied to him with a shawl, which was also torn. And I had a very nice new jacket that I was wearing. I remember because I had just gotten it for my birthday. I was shivering. And this kid in front of me was shivering too. But he had a smile on his face. He had a smile that even I didn't have when I got my nice new birthday jacket. And I was excited about it, I really was. And he had a smile on his face because we were the only people who had showed up at this tourist site on a weekday. And the moment he saw us, he ran up to us and he said, would you like to buy one of my little shoes? He had this tray full of little handmade shoes, about this big, not very beautiful, but what would you expect? He looks up at us, and he says, there's just one rupee. Of course, me wanting to collect yet another trinket, say, Dad, that's just one rupee. That's one fiftieth of a dollar. It's nothing. Can I get two? One for me and one for another friend. You know, I'll bring him a souvenir. My dad looks at me, gives me yet another one of those, are you really my son? I'm close. <laughs> <laughs> and he pulls out, he pulls out a big phone of two dollars, hundred rupees and gives it to this boy. For this boy, a hundred rupees, that will last him at least two weeks. That will pay for him, his brother, and also his mom at home. For at least two weeks, he will be able to fill his stomach and sleep well. Sometimes when I go to meetings, when I have a busy day, I don't get to eat. And I could easily eat if I wanted to. I just get busy. What I end up doing is in meetings I'll borrow food from some friends because I'm hungry. So I have some notion of what it's like to be hungry, but I've never really been hungry. I've never not had food for more than a day. This little man in front of me probably had not eaten. Certainly not that day. Probably not the day before. He has this hundred rupee note in front of him. You know what he does? This is a true story. He smiles and he says, that's so generous of you. Why don't you just buy a pair of shoes for me? Though? That will make my day. If you really want, you can buy two pairs, two rupees. That's all I ask of you. And I'm there thinking to myself, and I shared the story with Justin earlier, and he said, was the boy crazy? <laughs> <laughs> and, and I wonder, was he crazy? <laughs> and what would it take to be that crazy in life? This boy knew what he stood for. He was younger than me. He was eight years old, probably. And he had a little brother on his back who he, he was clearly responsible for feeding. And yet, he had the pride, the confidence, and the belief in his own abilities to feed himself, to say, no, with a smile, not with his ego being hurt, not with anything except gratitude for recognizing the thought that my father had, which was to help him. He said, thank you. Thank you for trying to help me, but just buy a pair of shoes for me. Just one repeat. I always remember that boy. And when I'm making decisions in my life, I always say, what do I stand for? How would I make that decision? I would have taken that. I do not think it's easy to have that much pride. But as I, as I grow and as I have more experiences, more opportunities, I realize there's only one of me. There's only one of each of us. 
We are one in six billion. Just so you understand what six billion means. If you saw one face per second, 24 hours, it would be 190 years before you would have seen six billion faces. Can you imagine that? That's how special each and every one of you are. 190 years just to see one face per second. That's how unique you are. Think about what you stand for. What would you say no to? You're far more special than you realize. There's only one of you. And there's only one of this moment. Every decision that we make, every second of our lives, that is really all we are. Freshman year of college, I heard this quote, which reminded me of this boy, and I will never forget this quote. It's by Marcus Aurelius. <laughs> and he says, the only life you have, the only life you have is the life you've lived. 